Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. This is a quick rundown of free Blender assets and resources that you probably missed. And this week, we do have a good number of these, which will definitely make your next workflow. And with that said, let's get right into it. Starting off with looking at the Geometry Node Laser Melter. This is a Geometry Node based tool that allows you to experiment and also work with the brand new Volume Cube node that now exists in Blender 3.3. This is currently only supported for Blender 3.3 so just in case you like to explore and play with this, you would need the daily build of Blender to get this to work. This is super procedural, which means you can use this with any mesh that exists in Blender to melt certain parts. And at the same time, you can control how the melting affects the model. Furthermore, if you would like to get even more tools from late as usual, there are more tools that you can find on his Gumroad. Late as usual is known for his geometry node based tools. And some of them include the ground pounding effect, hot springs, geometry node dust drill, and so much more. So if you're into geometry nodes and you're looking for a place where you can find lots of free geometry node projects that you can use or even generators then late as usual have you covered gscatter 0.4 is one of the most powerful and free tools that you can use to scatter things in blender this tool actually leverages of a layer based system to scatter things based on the geometry nodes these layers allows you to control the size the geometry you're working with the distribution and at the same time the rotation with tons of features and tools added to these artists can now easily control how the scattering of models would appear on their screen with access to weight painting for different kinds of model effect layers that gives artists even more finite control over the entire layer and so much more Currently, the brand new effect layer comes with camera calling, look at, height mask, and a whole lot more. The folks at Grassworld 3D are promising to include even more effects in the coming versions of Gscatter, and some of the effects that they're looking at implementing includes LODs, wind, texture support, and also child-based distribution. So if you're into scattering and you're looking for a free tool that you can use to scatter things easily directly in Blender, then the Gscatter 0.4 is definitely one that you might want to consider checking out. And at certain times when you're working in Blender, you probably like to hide certain things and reveal them procedurally based off how you hit them. Well, there is a brand new add-on made available by Amandeep that allows you to do just that. At any point in time you like to unhide them based off the steps that these were hidden, that is how you can unhide them. So instead of unhiding everything at the same time, you can simply review objects based off how they were hidden. And this might come in handy for those who are working with mechanical parts and probably would like to hide certain parts at given time and review them based off how they were hidden. Now we've already known Amandeep for creating lots of beautiful tools and we've seen lots of tools that he has created over time. Links to this is also going to be in the description where you can grab and start playing with them. And at one point or the other, we've all tried to render things faster. Well, this is now something that you can easily do with Crowd Renderer. Crowd Renderer allows you to piece your computers together depending on the number of pieces you have at your disposal and use them to render. So all you need to do is to connect two or more computers via a Wi-Fi or an Ethernet cable and start rendering. The software currently supports the use of Blender 2.8 all the way to 3.2. At the same time, if you're thinking about rendering with Cycles and EV, you can confidently use this to render. There is a couple of technicalities that comes with this, but for sure, if you're thinking about building your own render farm with a set of PCs that you have at your disposal, then you can consider taking a look at Crowd Renderer as it's a wonderful tool that would just simply take advantage of your PCs and get the render happening quickly. At certain times when you're making motion pictures, you really want to see the waveform of the character's dialogue so that you can know exactly where to keyframe. And this is what Pull USB is doing. The sound wave display for Blender is available for you to grab and use as this actually allows you to see the audio waveform when working with audios in Blender. So all you need to do is just install this and once you throw in an audio, you'll automatically be able to see the audio waveform and you can scrub through this audio to get things going. At the same time, this creator has a couple of nice Blender add-ons that you might probably want to check out. And the fun fact is most of these add-ons are totally free. So just in case you need any of these utility tools that might just save you that hat a, then this might just be worth it. And if you're looking for crystals, you're in luck. Alex has just created the procedural crystals with a Blender Geometry node and this is looking super awesome with some very impressive parameters that can allow you to add damages to certain parts of the model from edges all the way to the face and at the same time, you can choose to increase the number of sides that this object has. So if you're into crystals and you're looking for something that can generate very realistic 
or for the realistic looking crystals then you are in luck as this doesn't just come with the crystals themselves they also come with some very wonderful materials alex has also made lots of free things so one for me which is very very interesting is the Procedura Mandel Bulb. Alex has been making some very nice things for a while now and if you're into geometry notes this is definitely something that might just make sense for you. And this is one of the add-ons that we sort of missed over the time. This is SketchUp Importer 0.32.0. So we've already talked about the SketchUp Importer for Blender, but this is a much more updated version that now supports Blender 3.2. So if you love working with SketchUp, or probably you love getting stuff from the SketchUp warehouse and you're wondering how you can bring all that into Blender, this add-on is available for you to easily do that. And for Blender artists looking for a free SketchUp place where they can use SketchUp, you can also use SketchUp for free on the web browser, download that model and drag that directly into Blender by using this add-on. So for anyone that is into SketchUp or you're planning on working with SketchUp and you've been wondering how you can get your models from SketchUp over to Blender, this add-on is available and you can use this to your heart content. And here are a few honorable mentions that we have for this week. Royal Skies have created lots of free things over time and it's just worth it to give them a wonderful shout out as you can now get this advanced fully rigged female model available on their art station. This is not the only thing that they have because if you go over to their storefront you'd also notice that they have an advanced fully rigged male body which is also available for free. There's also the Blender Fisher more cap shaped generator that is also available. They used to have the Maya one but it's good to see that the Blender one is also available and at the same time if you go all the way up you will also be able to find these other anime style character that they have for free they've also got the blender anime hair shader for free as well and also some more stuff that you might want to get speaking about shaders there is this beautiful blender procedural eyes collection which is here so jan kunkel has made these ones available and these are very nice ones, so you might just want to come through and grab them. Mogicha 3 has also made the Mogicha MPR shader. The Mogicha MPR shader currently works for Blender EV. And for those who are thinking about using this for commercial, this is available under the CC by SA 3.0, which specifies that commercial use modification processing redistribution ETC of this shader can be done free of charge without notice. So if you're looking at exploring with this, tweaking it, breaking it, and also understanding how this tool works, you can simply come through and grab this right here as this is currently available on boot so this is more like it lots of cool things for you to come through and grab so just in case you're into any of these things links to this is going to be in the description so do well to take a look at those tell me what you guys think about this ones in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you like something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and until i see you guys in the next one peace